Scholarship with Eric Weston here, who's the proud owner of this wonderful Lancia Monte Carlo. So Eric, tell me a little bit about how long, how long you had the car first of all. Um, I've had it about um, four and a half years. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the beautiful Pininfarina styling. Mm -hmm. It's the only car that um, Pininfarina ever designed and designed and made. Right. And they, you know, they, it was a, a custom piece of development, a one, a one-off. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's also the fabulous handling. I had I had one, you know, struck by it as a, as a you know as a 19 year old and had to have one. And they're beautiful to drive, and beautiful, and beautiful balanced handling. You can gracefully slide, you know, slide them from side to side, and they put the power down beautifully for, for powering out the corners. And three owners before before me. Um, I bought it, you know, body body work sound mechanically mechanically rough. Right. Knowing that I was always going to, you know, work on the mechanics. I even I even had, you know, I even had some of the cylinder head work done before I owned the car because I had a vision of what it was going to be. Um, it, I've got um, uh, Emerald fuel injection on there. So I, I've installed modern post sport fuel injection. Um, and there's a it's a big big valve cylinder head um, designed and worked on by I saw Guy Croft, he's a Formula, Formula One engineer, who specialises in tuning these cars. It, it's a, it's a, free, it's, um, a free, revving, free revving car that, that will work right through the rev range, so it's easy to drive, even though it will rev out to 8,500 RPM and it just screams around the tank under power. There's just one, one long stream of power and a big grin. <laughs> yeah, I've installed um, four, four piston calipers throughout with a, with a handbrake mechanism built into the rear calipers and using um, Fiat Coupe discs, so they're, vent they're vented disc assemblies, um, which, which means that the original Monte Carlo brakes were, I think the word is frightening. Um, so, you know, with, with this sort of level of power, I, I needed to stop. More, but more than that, they're, they're very controllable, so you can feed the brakes. So there's no anti, there's no anti lock. There's no modern, modern concessions to you know to extreme safety, like traction control. So you need to be able to feel the car. A B O Y five three four Y. Any particular reason for that? People, people always always think that you know it's the stand. It's because I'm the boy racer that you know, I always wanted to be. But actually, it came with the car. Really? So that was the original number plate. The original number plate on the car. Right. Um, I, I'm always being approached by people that want the plate. But as it's as it's with the car, and it, it, it always raises a smile. I decided I'll keep it. Yeah. And do you use it day to day, or do you just use it for track events and special shows? I use it for thing? special shows and for fun, and when the sun's out, and when I you know, when I want to have some fun. What's your day car? What do you normally drive? I've got um, uh, an Audi um, A6 Le Mans Special Edition, so big, you know, big expensive modern Audi, which is completely opposite. <laughs>